Hi, my name is Trix, he is Gera, and welcome to this special episode of Positive Trix, your weekly tips and tricks to keep you positive. I'm going to take you to Tony Robbins Unleash the Power Within, which was recently held in Singapore. And I'm going to show you what happened during the whole four days. Plus, I'm going to share with you my top five key learnings from the event. And I really wish that you take some time to listen to this, to watch this video. So without further ado, I'm going to give you tip number 31. Watch this video. Treat yourself to be loving. Yes. Can you treat yourself to be playful, yes or no? Yes. So the problem is most of us let the culture train us. So here are my five key takeaways from Tony Robbins' Unleash the Power Within. Number one, the possibility. Yes, possibility. I never imagined that somebody or someone can actually gather 12,000 people in a room, you know, coming from 27 countries and, you know, with eight translators. I never thought that there would be so many people who are hungry and at the same time willing to really learn and better themselves. I only thought that it's going to be possible for concerts, right? Because that's what people are paying for. But this one, I never thought that Tony Robbins and his team has been doing it for 40 plus years. I was so inspired by that idea because I realized that, hey, it's possible. So whatever it is that you are thinking or dreaming of, the only thing that will really stop you is your very own limitation and your very own imagination. So, that means that once you know what you're really up to, once you know that your intentions are pure and your heart is pure, and that people find value in whatever it is that you do, there will come a time that all these people would actually seek you, would find a way to, to find you, to be with you, to learn from you. You sat down, the rest of us are. 90% of us standing, 10% of you, maybe 5% of you, maybe 3% of you, changing as I speak, are sitting there. There's nothing wrong with that. I just want you to notice you went. The second key takeaway is oh, let's get physical. I never ever thought that being physically fit, physically strong is that very important until I understood it from Tony Robbins himself. You know, the, the, the energy that you get, the, the feeling of you being strong and you actually looking strong has a lot to do with your physical body. And it's not just about being sexy or being macho. It's, it's really more of what you feed yourself, how you take care of your health, and that it manifests on the physical level, right? I have developed major respect, major admiration for athletes right after the event. And even people, well, basically people who go to the gym and who constantly improve themselves. I just thought that, okay, they just like it, and it just so happens that I didn't like working out I don't like running, I don't like doing physical exercises, but then I realized, hey, at first they didn't like it either. No one likes getting tired, right? But you need it. So now that I understand how important it is, oh wow, I think it's, it's, it's really life-changing. I understood also how scheduling things are very, very important because as they said, you know, it's, it's nice to plan things out, but it's not until you schedule it on, not until you put it on your calendar, that you get things done. So what I did was, I committed myself to a fun run two weeks after the event. Two high fives, a hundred seats! Yay, it's day 
three, and we are so, so excited. Good morning! Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The third key takeaway is now, now, now. The decisions that we make now. What controls our lives more than anything else would be the decisions that we make on a daily basis, right? Decisions control our lives. So whether I eat this or not, do I watch it or not, do I... Do I marry this person or not? Do I attend this event or not? Those small and big things, those are actually big things because they are what leads us to the path that we are going to take. They design, they shape our destiny. Now, if, if you're thinking, okay, so decisions control our lives, right? So what controls our decision? Can you guess? <laughs> Tony said that it's our state, it's our emotion. So you have to make sure that you're always in a good state, right? Because you do not want to make decisions when you are feeling low or when you're feeling bad. I think it's easier for people to decide on things once that his values, his priorities are very, very clear, right? Um, it makes decision making so much easier. And Speaking of decisions, a person can only make a number of good decisions per day. That is why CEOs or that is why leaders would actually have somebody do a lot of things for them because they really have to decide on things and they have to make use of their time wisely. And they put all their energy in deciding whether to do this for the company or not. Because at the end of the day, people would just decide depending on their state you know? so you don't want to you don't want to talk to your boss if the boss is mad or if the boss is tired because he might not be able to make the right decisions that is why it's true when they say that you go approach that person when he or she is in a really good state like it when Tony said that when you make up your mind onto something don't think about another option if you decide to go for it Go for it all the way. You gotta burn the boats. You know, like when you're sailing and then you have this boat and you go to the island and then you're gonna say, okay, if this island won't be successful for me and then I'm gonna go back, I have my boat, I'm gonna go back to the original island where I'm from. He said, don't do that. You gotta burn your boat because you have to make it work. One, two, three. All right, give yourself a hand. Give yourself a hand. Now, the area that you suck at, and no, we're not going to say I suck at this, okay? Please stop asking me. Hey, girl, say hi. Hey. My fourth key takeaway is you ask and you shall receive. What do I mean by that? Tony said, you know the saying, ask and you shall receive. Mind you, it says you ask. It's not you complain, it's not you whine, it's not you bitch. You don't bitch about it, you ask and you shall receive. And it's an eye-opener because for most of us, sometimes we ask for a lot of things. And then when we don't get it exactly, then we don't even appreciate it. You become fulfilled only when you learn how not just to expect but also to appreciate. As long as you're thankful and you know what you really want and then you're gonna receive it. You're only limited to your very own imagination and to your very own limitations. The universe has prepared for you everything that your heart desires. All you've got to do is believe that you're going to have it, make sure that you really want it, and visualize it. Because the moment you do all those things, the how of getting those things will appear before you. You really want what you really want! Setting, that was a lot of 
positive thinking and getting yourself out and about. But if I think if I can do it, then you can do it too. With the proper yes. guidance, of course, of Nolas yes. and Tony Robbins. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you. I want to show you my. Did you burn your feet? No, of course not. <laughs> of course not. And there's only like what? 1.8 million, right? So this is the, I don't know what, yeah. And I'm, I'm now part of the 1.8 million. Woo! I was able to do it! So um, whatever Tony taught us before, earlier, like the five steps that you have to really do, just apply it and you're good. Not gonna burn your nose. <laughs> And my fifth and final key takeaway is reality check. That was the time, I think it was in day three, that I realized that I never actually thanked myself. When I say thank myself, it means like you thanking yourself. Tony asked us to hug ourselves, hold ourselves so tight, and say thank you. On the third day of that seminar, I found a new best friend. Of course, I have a couple of best friends, like the bestest in the world. But that was the only time I thought, oh my god, why am I not best friends with myself? I'm the bestest, bestest friend that myself can ever have. So that was the time I really felt love for myself. That was the time I told myself, I'm sorry, I haven't acknowledged you. I haven't said thank you to you for doing everything that you can. And it felt so good. It felt so good because you just feel like you have a new team with you, right? I urge you to do the same. Make yourself feel that you really, really, really love yourself and that you appreciate yourself. Hug yourself tight and tell yourself, I love you and I'm gonna take care of you more. Now let me ask you, when was the last time that you talked to yourself and you know, you just said to yourself, hey, you and I, we are a team, right? And I love you and I appreciate you and we're in this together and I'm gonna take care of you. It sounds kind of corny, or but I really think that it's something that we have to do more often. And it would be nice to have that exercise. So this week, give yourself a date in a loving, sweet, and really empowering way. See the difference. Thank you for watching Positive Tricks, your weekly tips and tricks to keep you positive.